This video will cover the topic, finding the vertex, intercepts, and axis of symmetry from the graph of a parabola. Before we start, let's review a couple properties of parabolas that will help us in solving problems relating to this topic. When a parabola is opening upward, the vertex is the lowest point, or minimum, of the graph. Whereas, when a parabola is opening downwards, the vertex is the highest point, or the maximum, of the graph. Another important property of parabolas is the axis of symmetry. The axis of symmetry is the line that goes through the vertex and divides the parabola into two mirror images of itself. Hold on, I'm a little confused. How would you indicate what the axis of symmetry is for a graph? Since the parabolas we will be looking at are going to be opening up or down, the axis of symmetry will be a vertical line that passes directly through the vertex. We can indicate the equation for this line by creating a function from the x value of the vertex by setting it equal to x. A couple more important terms to recall include the x and y intercepts. The x intercept is the x value on the graph where both the y value is 0 and the graph intercepts the x axis. The y intercept is the y value on the graph where both the x value is 0 and the graph intercepts the y axis. Now that we're done reviewing, let's go ahead and try a practice problem. In this problem, we are being asked to determine which way the given parabola opens, find the x and y intercepts, the equation of the axis of symmetry, and the coordinates of the vertex. Wow, that seems like a lot. Are you sure we can do all of that? I know we can. Let's go ahead and get started. The first question, part A, is asking us whether or not we can determine if the parabola depicted is opening upward or downward. Oh, I got this. This parabola opens upward. That's right. Great work. For part B, we're being asked to find both the x and y intercepts. Why don't you go ahead and give this one a shot too? Okay. I know that for the x intercepts, we are looking for where the graph crosses the x axis. So would the x intercepts be negative 4 and negative 2? Yes, that's correct. The x values, negative 4 and negative 2, are where our parabola crosses the x axis. So that means that the y intercepts are where the graph crosses the y axis, which means the y intercept would be 8, right? That's right. We can see on our graph that the parabola crosses the y axis at y is equal to 8. In part c, we're being asked to determine the axis of symmetry. Remember, the axis of symmetry is the equation of the vertical line that divides the parabola into two mirror images of itself. So, the axis of symmetry for this graph would look like this. Now that we know what the axis of symmetry looks like for this graph, what do you think the equation for the axis of symmetry is? Hmm, since this line only crosses through the x value, negative 3, would that mean our equation for the axis of symmetry is x equals negative 3? Yes, that's right. Great job! Last but not least, in part D, we're being asked to determine the vertex of this parabola. What do you think the answer is? Well, since this parabola opens upwards, that means the vertex is the lowest point on the graph. So, wouldn't the vertex be negative 3 comma negative 1? Correct. Since our graph is opening upward, that means the lowest point, or the minimum, of our graph is going to be our vertex. Okay, I think I understand all of this now. To determine which direction a graph opens, all we have to do is look at the graph given and observe how the graph is oriented. To find the x and y intercepts, we need to determine the values of x and y where the graph crosses the x and y axis. For the axis of symmetry, we determine the equation of the vertical line that would make the parabola a mirror image of itself. And to determine the vertex, we need to find where the parabola makes a point and then take the x and y values of this point. It really sounds like you understand this topic now. Great work! 